Hey guys, welcome to PC Perspective. Today we're going to look at a little accessory that was sent our way from a company called Hutu. Never mind the silly sounding name, they actually wanted us to take a look at a USB hub and splitter, something we needed around the office anyway, so I said sure, send it on over. Uh, it's actually a, a pretty nice little device. Uh, we'll go ahead and, and walk through what you get inside of this, as well as some of the performance and uh, charging specifications for it. So the device itself is fairly straightforward. It's a pretty light piece of plastic. Um, you have, uh, it's a seven port USB 3.0 hub, as the name says. You've got indicator lights for connection for all seven USB ports, as you see around here. And then in the back, you have your USB 3 uh, connection to the PC, and then an optional 5 volt DC plug-in. So this is the HTUH006 for those of you looking for the specific model number. Again, not much to it. USB hubs are pretty simple devices at this point. In the box, they do supply you with a USB 3 capable cable, as well as the 5 volt power adapter. Now you only use this adapter if, uh, if you start to notice stability issues with the USB 3 hub, uh, you connect a device, it doesn't show up, or sometimes things kind of randomly disconnect, then you would actually need to hook up the hub and, and, and power uh, and uh, plug it in so you can get full power there. And then the only thing you get is actually a user's manual, which is actually, um, for the type of device this is, a lot more open about the information that it provides than I expect. Tells you about the chipset it's using, it's the Via VL812 controller, it talks about the bandwidth limitations, it talks about the potential stability issues if you're not using the 5 volt adapter and what you can do to fix it. Uh, our quick data uh, for performance testing, I basically used our handy dandy USB 3.0 SSD and connected it directly to the PC and then through the hub and the performance was pretty much the same. We had about 240 megabytes per second read speeds and 100 and 80, 175 megabytes per second write speeds to and from the SSD. So uh, that's with a single device connected to that. And we'd expect that to, you know, be stable through, you know, even if you have multiple devices connected. Now, if you're all, if you're running all of them and data transfers at the same time, obviously, obviously that's going to decrease. So you want to uh, be more careful with that. The other thing we tested is, because I know a lot of people are concerned about it, is uh, what you get in terms of charging capability, like if you want to charge your tablets or your phones through this hub. And we were actually showing uh, through a little USB power meter that each port was getting 0.46 amps of power, regardless of if we hooked up a smartphone or uh, an iPad, for example, uh, which was the same power it was getting from the USB 3.0 port on our motherboard at the same time. And I should point out that that did not change when we actually connected the physical 5 volt power connection on it either. So it, it's going to charge some things. It's not really up to the uh, capability of charging the iPad, which again, it details in its user manual. It's very upfront about that being the case. But for users looking to expand USB 3 data, uh, you want to have something sitting on your desk. So if you have thumb drives around, you don't have to reach around to the back of the computer or reach down to your uh, front panel of your case or something like that. This will provide that functionality pretty flawlessly. And the best part, or the best part rather, is that it's like $35 on Amazon, so it's relatively inexpensive. Um, so if you're interested in that, check it out. It's the Hutu 7-port USB 3.0 hub, HTUH006. Thanks, guys.